All right, Mark Rogers TV getting you set for spring practice in about four to five weeks. Uh, positional unit breakdowns across the ACC. We check in with Pitt and Jim Hammett from Cardiac Hill, uh, SB Nation platform for Pitt Athletics. Jim, how you doing today? I'm doing just fine. All I'm right, Nate Peterman well. had himself a nice uh, senior season. Uh, definitely his best. Uh, turned into a playmaker of sorts, a uh, game manager early on. But, uh, man, this was Definitely an explosive offense, so he'll be missed to a certain extent, depending on what you uh, get out of Max Brown, most likely, who's going to be the starter this year. Yeah, definitely. Max Brown was uh, the former number one overall quarterback coming out of high school. Uh, went to USC, was actually the starter this year for the first couple of games. And, uh, you know, we saw what Sam Darnold uh, did for USC and uh, what kind of player he was. So Max Brown lost his job, but I think that might have been more about Darnold being a, a really good player than Brown not being a good player. So, you know, he's coming here with high expectations. He's a, you know, he's a fifth year senior. He was actually voted as a captain at USC last year. So, you know, he, you know, he has the experience factor. He was a big time recruit coming out of high school. So, you know, he, he's coming in here and most, uh, you know, most fans are expecting him to win the starting job. So I think uh, Max Brown's, uh, the most measurable effort that he had last season. So he opens up against Alabama. We know what the tide is on, on defense. If they're not facing Deshaun Watson, 14 of 29, he threw a pick. Then Utah State, uh, a down year for the Yankees last year, usually a really good football team and had a nice day. And uh, let's see, went to 21 for 30, a couple touchdowns, a couple picks in that game. And then against Stanford, yeah, they lost the game, but he hit 18 of 28 passes and 64% uh, passer for that game. So that's basically the game experience for Max Brown. And then, of course, Sam Darnold took over and USC became a top five football team. So Max Brown's in place most likely as the starter. But as you mentioned to me before we started to record that uh, it'll be at least uh, on the surface an open competition. So who else is in play? Well, you know, it's definitely an open competition with uh, Pitt going with another offensive coordinator this year, uh, going from Matt Canada, who went to LSU. Pitt hired Sean Watson, who is a former offensive coordinator at Texas for a stop. Louisville came to Pitt from Indiana. So you know, we, we're not exactly sure what kind of offense Pitt is going to run. So I think all the quarterbacks in, in that sense are on an open playing field. I, that uh, some people are kind of expecting to be the quarterback of the future, maybe redshirt uh, Thomas McVitie. Uh, he's from uh, Cincinnati Muller High School, big time high school football program in the Cincinnati area. Uh, you know, he redshirted last year, but he has the typical 6'4, 210 frame. And, you know, people are really excited about him. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, Ben DiNucci. Uh, he's a local player. Uh, you know, didn't come to Pitt with much fanfare, but they turned to him in the bowl game when Peterman went down. So he at least has some experience under his belt. And, you know, also uh, coming in is uh, three-star recruit Kenny Pickett. I think most people are expecting a red shirt, but like I mentioned, uh, with the new offensive coordinator, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, Danucci came into the bowl game, as you mentioned, and uh, basically had a rough go against Northwestern, uh, threw a touchdown pass, but also threw a couple picks, and obviously Pitt really missed uh, Peterman and James Conner in that game in the second half against uh, the Wildcats. All right, uh, what's your feel on this one? Are you happy to have Max Brown in the fold? Or Pitt fans uh, happy to have a guy that that definitely has at least the track record in high school and the scouts' approval in regards to arm strength and and, and ability? Yeah, I think people are excited about Max Brown. Uh, you know, the thing with Pitt right now is they haven't had their own quarterback kind of come up through the system and kind of take a hold of the job. I mean, they've had Tom Savage a few years ago, then the Nathan Peterman, and now. Uh, you know, Max Brown. So they want to find stability. And, you know, I think people are hoping that, you know, Thomas McVitie or Kenny Pickett are two guys that, you know, maybe after this year can kind of, you know, set the wheels in motion and have their own quarterback. But for now, I think people uh, feel a lot more comfortable with a, a senior quarterback, one with, uh, you know, good pedigree coming into the program. So I, I think everyone's pretty excited to see what Max Brown can do.